Okay, please have a seat. Where is the boss? Come on, are you asleep over there? You've been married to me for too long. And I even said, where's the boss? Here she comes in all her five foot glory. Sorry about that. I was just a bit distracted because I just got some new photos on my phone from my kids. So my son is climbing a mountain, which is pretty normal for him, and my daughter's on a beach, which is pretty normal for her. Do your parents take lots of photos of you? No? Yes? 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 Why do they take lots of photos of you? Because they want to keep memories. Why would they want to keep memories? You don't know. So you can look at home. Okay. Hey, did you hear what Steve was reading this morning about the story of Jesus' baptism? There's a bit in there I want to read you. I love this bit. And a voice from heaven said, This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. So that was God talking about who? Jesus, that's right. Have you ever thought about that relationship? Like God was actually father? He was actually parent? And it's like he comes down from heaven and he goes, that's my boy, and I'm really proud of him. Do your parents do that to you? Yeah. That's my Harriet. I'm really proud of her. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes they probably say, oh, my goodness. But most of the time, they're really proud of you, aren't they? And God the Father was like that with Jesus. So we talk about being part of God's family, the church, for a good reason, don't we? because we think about God as father, and he's the perfect parent. Steve, was I the perfect parent? I oh, indeed. No, I wasn't. He's just trying to get brownie points. So we're not perfect parents, and we make mistakes. And when you grow up, you'll do the same. But God is that perfect father. Let's have a look at some photos of some of our church family, shall we? Deb's going to... They are. We put them in. We definitely, definitely put them in. This is. Here we go. Who's that? Okay, so Ben, God says to you, you're my child. I love you and I'm proud of you. That's Claire. Now, Claire's not here today because she's sick. But God loves her because she is his child and he is proud of her. Ephraim, God loves you. He says to you, you're my child. I love you and I'm proud of you. Ezekiel, God says to you, you're my child. I love you and I'm proud of you. There's Georgia and Ollie. God says to you both, you are my children. I love you and I'm proud of you. Harriet, God says to you, you're my child. I love you and I'm proud of you. Indy's not here today, but Indy is God's child and he loves her and he's proud of her. Jesse. God loves you. He says to you, you're my child. I love you and I'm proud of you. Liam. Liam's not here. Oh, he's sick. But you know, God says to Liam as well that he is God's child and God loves him and is proud of him. Oh my goodness. Those are my kids. And God loves them. And he's proud of them. Wait for the next one, though. Oh, Steve. God says to you, you're my child. I love you and I'm proud of you. 
he's the, Steve's the baby in that one. <laughs> so you know that's the same for all of us here today. God says to every one of us in this family, I love you, you're my child, and I'm proud of you. So let's be proud to be God's family, God's children here in this place. Let's pray. God, our Father, our perfect Father, thank you for loving us, for letting us be your children, for being proud of us, and for journeying with us every day of our lives. Amen. Amen.